What's up guys? This is Richard again for this edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a sloped roof with steel framing in Revit Structure 2017. Okay, so in this exercise, I'm going to create a sloped roof by footprint and a curved roof by extrusion. And then after that, I'm going to add the structural framing to each roof. Alright, so let's get started. So on my uh, second floor roof, so from the architecture, I'm going to create here the roof. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, roof by footprint. Okay, and then I'll be using this type. Okay, and then using the peak lines option, so I'm going to uh, peak my lines here okay what about i'll just use this one the peak walls tool so peak walls tool and then i'm going to move my pointer to the interior side of this wall and then i'm going to press tab okay so you will notice after i press tab it uh, highlights the selection right so you see it highlights the selection okay so every time you press tab it cycles the selection so once it highlights, I'm going to click now to place the boundary. There you go. So there's now the boundary of my roof. As you can see, there's also an arrow here wherein you can flip to the other side. Okay, in case you want to use the exterior part of the wall as your boundary. Anyway, I'll be I'm going to use this one. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do, so you will notice, okay, I'll just select modify first. If I'm going to select the lines, okay, there is no slope, okay. So if you want to, uh, if you want to add slope to your roof, so what you can do is you just select uh, one line, or you can also select all the lines. In this case, I'll select this one, and then you see there's an option here defines slope. So uh, after I select the defines slope, so you will notice that I can now change here the slope. I can also change here. Okay, so I'm going to click this one. So let's say I'm going to make it uh, 1.19. Uh, 1 there you go. And then after that, I select modify. Okay, then to finish up, I'm going to select here check to finish. There you go. So there's now my roof. So if I go to the 3D view, so this is now the roof that I created. Okay, so let me just open this uh, section view here roof section at grid 2 just to show you the roof that I just created you see there's a slope here okay again you can also change it from the properties right so what I'm going to do next you see this uh, column here I'm going to attach that to my roof okay so I'm going to select the column and then there's an option here attach top base I click this and then after that I click the roof there you go. So I uh, you just need to close this warning. Okay. All right. So after that, what I'm going to do next is, okay, I'm going to open or I'm going to set the reference plane. Okay, so I'm going to set the reference plane here. So I select this. Okay, and using the pick a plane option, I'm going to select OK. So I'm going to use this uh, underside of my roof as my uh, work plane. So I'm going to select this. Okay, and then from the go to view, I'm going to open again the second floor roof. All right. So the reason why I why I did that because I'm going to create now my beam. Okay, so I'm going to add beam. So from the structure tab, I'm going to select here the beam. Okay, so using a 460 by 52, I'm going to place my beam now. So using the line tool. Okay, so tag on placement so that every time I place the beam, it will uh, add also the tag. Okay, so let me just start creating my beam. So I pick here, here, okay, I'm going to pick here. 
uh, tab okay this one and then I pick here okay I'm going to add here also and then I'm going to pick here okay so let me just turn on the uh, turn off the thin lines so I can see the line weights of my uh, beam okay so after that I'm going to uh, create another beam here snapping at the midpoint of this one so I select again the beam tool okay so I'm going to snap at the midpoint and then I'm going to click the wall here okay so I'm going to click the midpoint so let me just uh, escape once first okay and then I click this one all right and then I'm going to snap at the wall here there you go Okay, so that's now my beam. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, mirror these beams one, two, three to the other side here. Okay. So I'm going to mirror that. So I click this, hold control, and then I'm going to use the mirror pick axis. So I'm going to pick my 8.5 as my axis. There you go. And then I select here, modify. Okay. Next, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy. I select and then I select copy here. I'm going to pick the base point. I'm going to make sure multiple here is check and constraint is check. So it constra uh, constrains the move direction. So I'm going to pick here as my base point. I pick here. And then I want to place another copy. So let's say I want uh, 3,600. There you go. And then I select here modify. Now, if you want to add here your tag, just like this one, you can always go to annotate and then you can use here tag by category. Okay, you can add a tag here. If you do not want to have your leader line, so you can uncheck this one and then you can proceed clicking your beam right okay there you go and then I select here modify so after that the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the girder that the girders that I just uh, place here so to do that I'm going to open again the roof section at grid to view and I want you to notice that the new roof support beams that I just created, including the girder, is sloped with the roof, right? You see, it slopes with the roof. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the angle of this. So instead of zero, so I'm just going to follow also the uh, angle of this one, which is what? 1.19. Okay, so I'm going to select this, this one, and then I change the angle here 1.19 also all right okay and then as you notice my line weights here are too thick and I cannot see the details of my lines that's why I'm going to turn on the thin lines so after I turn on the thin lines so you will notice that all the lines with the thin line weight display okay making it easier to work in our view okay so however these thin lines uh, does not affect your printing the lines still print with their assigned uh, line weight so thin lines is a uh, global settings that affect all the views okay but it doesn't affect the the printing okay all right so i'm going to move now the gear there so i'm going to pick this Okay, I'm going to select the move tool. I'll snap at the midpoint of that girder. And then I'm going to snap here at the grid, this one. There you go. Okay, and then I select modify. So I'm going to restore again the thin line. Ah, I'm going to restore again. Ah, I mean turn off the thin lines to restore the line widths. Okay. So I'll just change the slope of this one. So I click this, 
I click the roof and then I'll change the slope here so instead of 1.19 so let me just make it 2 this time okay so you see our girder follows the roof but then again it didn't change the slope here I mean the angle so I click the angle here I'm gonna make it 2 also okay and then let me just turn on the thin lines again because I'm going to move this again to the grid all right there you go and modify okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a curved canopy roof okay okay so this is where I'm going to place it so let me just open the first floor okay so I'm going to place here the uh, curb canopy roof so I'm going to use this uh, reference grid okay this is where I'm going to reference my uh, reference plane okay so if I select this so you will notice the name of that grid is 4.1 see 4.1 so I'm going to use this grid as my reference for my reference plane okay so to start creating my uh, curb canopy roof I'm going to open the elevation view here of my canopy so canopy elevation so this is where I'm going to place it so to create roof this time I'm going to select roof by extrusion so I select roof by extrusion and then from the work plane instead of using pick up plane I'm gonna select here the name option and then I'm, I'll just go ahead look for the grid that I'm going to use for the reference of my work plane which is 4.1 the one that I have just shown you so I'm going to use this one and then I select here OK right and then for the roof reference level and offset so instead of proof here I'm going to select uh, canopy for the reference level okay and then I select here OK. Alright, to start creating the sketch of my roof, I'm going to use here start and radius arc with a radius of 5000. So I use 5000 here. Okay, so to start, I'm going to pick here. This is the start. This is the end of the arc. And then this is the uh, arc. So I'm going to pick. And then I select here modify. Okay, so again, I'll be using this uh, roof. And then after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is to specify here the length or the extrusion of my roof. Okay, so I already measured that. So I can, I'm going to key in here, minus 300 and 5,800. Okay, you can actually uh, specify any values here. Then later on, you can just uh, drag your extruded extruded roof later on okay so anyway i'll be using this uh, extrusion uh, measurement and then i'm going to select here check there you go so if i go to the 3d view it looks like this okay like what i have said you can still modify this you see right you can still modify so you notice that part is my extrusion start so this side here so you notice it changes the value right so I'll just make this again minus 300 okay okay so after that the next thing that I'm going to do okay so I'm going to create a curved beams okay so I'm going to create a curved beams a beam that follows the curve of my roof here okay so to start with, I'm going back again to my canopy elevation. So I'm going to select the beam tool again. Okay, so this time I'm going to use again the 4.1. Okay, and then the type of the, okay, I'll just select okay first. Okay, and then the type of the beam, I'm going to use this one. Okay, and I'll use peak lines. Okay, so pick lines, and then I'm going to pick the underside of the roof, this one. There you go. Then after that, I select here, modify. 
Okay, so there's now my BIM. So if I check the 3D again, so you will notice I now have here BIM. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to copy this using Array. Okay, so using the Array tool, I'm going to copy this one. Let me just open first my Canopy view. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, in case you're having difficulty selecting the BIM here, you can press the tab. So you will notice every time you press tab, it cycles the selection. Okay. Alright. So I select this frame. Okay. And then I'm going to use array. Okay. So make sure you are selecting the beam that you just created. Okay. So you select that, this one. And then after that, I select here array. So I select the array. Using the rate, uh, linear array, I'm going to copy this six times, including the original one, using the last option. Okay, move to last. So I'm going to pick now my 4.1 grid as my reference, and then this will be the last uh, location of my beam. So I'm going to pick. There you go. And after that, I select modify. So if I'm going to check again the 3D view, this is now how it looks like. There you go. So beautiful. So let me just change the transparency of my roof. So I click the roof, right click, and then uh, or override graphics in view by category. So I'll just change here the transparency. So instead of zeros, maybe I'll make it uh, 50. Apply. There you go. So it's now transparent. So I select OK. Right. Right. So there's now my uh, curb beam and then my slope roof. Okay. So my steel framing, the curb beam, and then the slope roof here. So there, th this is now our exercise. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you learned something from this video. So if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, you can put it on the comment section below. And then I'll, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button so that you will be notified every time I create a video. And you can also subscribe to my blog site. Okay, So you can uh, email me there directly in case you have any problems or in case you want to have the exercises files. All right. So once again, this is Richard from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.